And I was going to take this down to Roosevelt today, but I decided against it. Um, if anybody ever wants to come up here and hang out and take a ride, I'm more than happy to take a ride with them. Um, it's just because I'm up here, it's harder for me to get down to the valley than it is for most people to get up here. Especially because I would have to ride this all the way down there, where a lot of people have sports quads or fucking cruisers that they can go riding all the way up here and to Roosevelt with me. But if you guys want to ever trailer a vehicle up here, come on. It's just harder for me to get down to the valley, which I'm going to at some point. At some point, I will be down in the valley riding. Came into that corner a little too hot and clutched it. Shouldn't have clutched it. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever want to come up and ride, I'm more than happy to. Next Saturday, I'm going to plan on going on a ride out to Roosevelt, so if anybody wants to join me, um, I'll be posting on Twitter and Instagram if anybody wants to go on a ride with me out to Roosevelt. As well as, um, I'm part of a little motovlog group here in Arizona, so if they ever want to come riding with me, they can. I'm going to ask them if any of them want to come. There's a guy named Knightley, who Knightley is just fucking awesome. Like, this kid is fucking awesome. He talks to me constantly. Real nice guy, cool kid. He's still in high school, but he rides in motovlogs, and nothing's fucking more awesome than that. But it, it's Knightley Go, so I just call him Knightley. He calls me Charlie. <laughs> Probably because on the group, I forgot it doesn't display my fucking... Um, it doesn't display my moto vlogging name. It doesn't display the moto hippie. It displays Charlie. <laughs> so, or Charles. And he calls me Charlie, which is cool. I don't mind. Um, I get called Charlie at work and Andrew at home. So if anybody wants to... Depending on what you want to call me. It doesn't bother me none. But, uh... I mean, I showed my face way before I wanted to, only because I was too lazy to blur out my face. <laughs> So I decided, fuck it, I don't want to blur my face every time. Everybody can see who I am, I don't fucking fuck anymore. <laughs> but, uh, I got a wedgie. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to see if anybody wants to go ride with me. And I want, it's going to be like short term, I, I plan on making a big ride before I go down to the valley. Anybody that wants to ride out to Roosevelt with me. So I'm going to be posting that shit. See if anybody wants to go. It'll be a Saturday. Um, I know some people work on Saturdays. Uh... If I have to, I'll reschedule to, uh, to make it easier for everybody. I want to get as many people here as I can. Um, and not because I like have to or want to. It's because I want to, I don't know, celebrate and hang out with people that I haven't been able to do since I've lived up here. <clears throat> I'm sorry about the cough. But, uh, and I also want to mention another guy who I mentioned in the video about putting in the, uh, in my stator, but I don't think I'm ever going to release that video. It was just me driving in the car talking about how the, the guy before me got in there and stripped out one of the fucking Allen head screws. And I had to fix it. Go to Ace and get the right screws. And the guy didn't know what the fuck he was doing at Ace. But, uh, yeah. I want to give a, a shout back to him. Because, fuck, he shouted my name and, like, fucking overnight almost 50 fucking new subs which is fucking awesome and I can't thank you guys enough for subbing and watching my videos and uh, TRX dude thank you so so much man that means a lot to me I, I got into motor vlogging because I want to entertain people and I, I got I started watching motor vlogging actually and I'm going to catch a lot of shit for this the first person I ever watched motor vlog was uh, <laughs> his name was well his name is and you guys probably know him as one of the biggest douchebags around, Snowcat. I started watching Snowcat because I was in the process of making my quad street legal and a guy showed me a compilation of uh, motorcycle police chases. Uh, chases. I was like loving it and on one of the videos it had a recommended to Snowcat's video and I watched it and I'm like, wow, this is different. It's like normal fucking couch vlogging as I call it. And they're on motorcycles and dirt bikes and shit. And this is cool. And I was watching his because he was showing jackass drivers and whatnot. 
and I'm like, God damn. And I was already in the process of making my quad street legal. Like, I had no intention on motovlogging, but I thought it was so cool. I've always liked to entertain people, and I'm trying to come up with new ideas to entertain you guys. But right now, it's just I needed to get out and ride, and I wanted to take Mary Jane on a test ride since I got the new stator in. But I wanted to say thank you guys so fucking much. And there's somebody else who I need to give a shout out to, and he's been one of my followers since the beginning. He's another moto vlogger, and I caught up and passed him thanks to TRX. <laughs> and the guy's real cool. His name's uh, Moto HDDK, and I'll post the link to his channel as well in the description below. But Moto or uh, HD or DK, whatever the fuck you want to call him, I've been calling him Moto. And then everybody calls me Moto, so it gets kind of confusing. But, yeah, I, I, he's he's a cool guy, and I, I want to give him a shout. I, I, ha I haven't given him a proper shout yet, I don't think. But the guy is super cool. If you guys want to go watch his videos, they're awesome. He did one based off a recommendation I gave him, and he gave me a little shout-out in it. It's uh, his review of Ruby. And if you guys ever uh, watched my earlier videos where I talk about anime shit, you guys know I'm a big anime nerd, and he is too. And I talked about Ruby, and Ruby is one of my favorite animes at the moment. And it's different because it's not the normal art style that animes are done in. And it's made here in the U.S. Not like Dragon Ball Z is dubbed. No, it is 100% made here in the U.S. by a company called Rooster Teeth. And we did a review on them, and I thought it was hilarious. He gave me a shout at the beginning. I'm one of those vapors. I vape. And he kind of mentioned that and talked about it. <laughs> but he's a cool guy. So, you guys, go fucking check him out. Go check out TRX. Um, tell him I sent you guys back if you've never seen him before. He's an ATV motovlogger here in Arizona. Uh, just like I am. I came across his videos one night. I was just up bored watching uh, random motovloggers. And I seen this, and I seen, uh, oh god, what was I watching? I was watching Vroom Vroom Dana, and then I got fucking suggested to his videos. I'm like, oh my god, these videos are fucking awesome. So, started watching those, and I watched so many, or so much of his videos, it took up my allotted, oh, something else you guys probably know about me if you're a loyal subscriber, is that my internet isn't fucking unlimited like most cable internet providers. No, my internet is limited to 50 gigs a month. And I watched so much of his videos, I went over my 50. 